Hello guys, as you all know that iShare is dead and uh, you cannot download any images from iShare but now iShare 2 is live you can download images directly from in this video we will learn how to download iOS images from iShare 2 uh, I am assuming that you all know how to set up a peanut lab and if not you can watch my other videos in that uh, you will find how to set up a peanut lab open putty and try to connect it with your peanut server you will find uh, your IP I am changing the font because it is very uh, small so I will make it quite bigger to visible the password is root and the, uh, the user id is root and the password is peanut all in small you will find the command in the description uh, this command will update your peanut lab uh, peanut server to 5.0.1 and download all the iShare requirement in your server These are all the available command you can run in the iShare. These are the actions. These are the available commands in iShare. Now, from this command, we can search what are the available images iOS in iShare 2 there are multiples it's a huge repository look there are lots and lots of images available to download and uh, you can download any these are the windows server windows 10 And the commands are in the bottom how you can download the files from that particular portion suppose you want to download uh, uh, image uh, ios image 
will just write its number and it will start downloading it's amazing no need to write full name just write the number and it will start downloading and the good thing is that it will fix permission automatically you, you don't no need to run any command to fix the permission now i'm trying to download file image It's totally depend upon your internet speed, how your internet is working. It is now downloaded. I'm just checking the the folder where it is downloaded. Look, all the images sent to an entry images are downloaded. Now we can try to open a lab. Just open your web browser and uh, write the IP of your Pnet server. Create one lab. Um, write down its name. You can write it any. Node. Then select the device. I select the device which I recently had. Now I'm starting the devices. Let's double click on the device. It will open the console. I'm using secure CRT. Look, you can find the console about the devices. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.